Hi, I'm Brenda Yoho, and welcome to a version of Solution Saturday. I've missed the last couple of Saturdays, and I apologize for that. You see, Saturdays have turned into um, soccer Saturdays for us, and I think it will be that way for a while now. And also, it's a transition period for me, as my husband has sold his shop, and we're trying to make this transition into retirement for him, and and make his way into um, us figuring out what that looks like for the two of us together. And we've been enjoying that time together and, and trying to figure out, you know, how we're going to um, attack these days and, you know, what things we want to accomplish together. And um, in the same way, um, I've been troubled by a few things. And, um, you know, it, it the world today is... Um, filled with lots of different um, things that if you listen to the headlines, you'll hear some different stories from this and that and the other. But when you hear stories that um, are happening to um, former students, and I've had a few of those call me and um, make contact with me, it, it, um, it, it, it bothers me and because I believe in solutions and um, solutions are not always easy to come by and you don't always have a quick fix for things. And um, it's hard when things happen um, to people that you care about. Now, it's, you know, hard to think about that... Um, a teacher, a teaching assistant, or a principal would care so much for children, but it really is true. And um, I'm not the only one. There's many people out there that are in education that care so much for children, even after they're all grown up. Because most of my students are all grown up <laughs> with kids of their own. But when they're in, in trouble, um, I've always told my kids they could always contact me and I'd be able to help them. I would do whatever I could. And I've been able to do that for many of them. But there's sometimes there's situations that are even out of my control that I can even help with. But I gave a li listening ear and some words of advice. But still, you know, it weighs heavy on my heart that they're going through diff difficult times. And even when they've lost their parents and um, they don't have family that they can count on, um, it weighs heavy on me. You know, I, I do believe home, school, and community working together really helps build a strong foundation. And I believe that this nation was built on those values and those beliefs. You see, when one of those support systems is gone, it's hard for individuals. And if they're gone early in their life, it's very traumatic. And for many of the kids that I have worked with, they've had those situations that have happened early in their life. And I know I share a lot about my story in, my, in some of my posts and a little bit of my story in my book. But, you know, I have a traumatic brain injury. That will never change. That will always be there. And um, I, it's something I deal with every day. Some days are good days. Some days are bad days. Um, and when I say that, this is what I mean by that. Um, I mean in regards to memory and, and things like that. Um, I left my education um, position sooner than I wanted to. Uh, when I left, I was in the midst of my um, trial for my the accident, and um, my leadership had changed, so my support system had changed, and there was a lot that was going on, and then it was like I was there one day and one day I wasn't. And I think that there wasn't a lot of clarification of why. 
and it wasn't because of any uh, wrongdoing. It wasn't anything to do with the reason that of my health in regards to um, being able to physically do my job. Um, the stress with the um, trial going on and all the extra duties that I had was playing a toll on my, my health, but it was affecting my, uh, my heart, um, my blood pressure, and um, I needed to um, get some of that reduced. And so when I um, took that away, when I took all that stress away, my health improved a great deal. Um, and then I had some other health complications that come a little bit later with the diagnosis of breast cancer and, you know, some other things that I'm going through right now with liver issues and things because of medications that I've taken over my life. And, um, those things, um, we will deal with because we have a problem and the doctors have a solution. And so I just need to follow those things and, and we'll be fine. Um, you know, but I, I just, you know, I felt heavy in my heart that I wanted to, um, share this personal, um, video chat because I've been for the last, you know, month or two supporting, um, everybody going back to school and really focusing on that and, you know, feeling good and feeling safe and, and you know, I want people to know that not everybody shows their emotions and how they're feeling, and they don't always share and tell. And um, I was a good one about that. I didn't always let anybody know what was going on with me at any point in my life. Um, I've always been that way. I would show up and work just as hard when I was feeling good or not feeling good. Um, I went back to work way too soon after my accident because I wanted to be there for my staff, my students, and my families, even though it wasn't time for me to go back. You know, it took five years for the brain to completely heal from the injuries it sustained, and um, I didn't give that healing time to my brain, so... I went back to work and I had a great support system around me and that's why I could go back to work. I trusted the people I worked with and um, I knew that they would help me and being able to achieve the things I wanted to achieve. And that was such a blessing and I'm, I will always be thankful for all of those people. But I want to share with you that um, I know with everybody that um, follows me knows how much of a Christian I am and how much I believe that my faith has been such a big part of my life and has helped me to make it through so many things that have happened in my life that sometimes I think people were think that no way that couldn't have happened to you too but um, it has and I think if we talk about this I think that it will help and it will let people know that you are, um, oh, it, it, you don't have to hide and you don't have to say, I'm okay. Um, and I know that I even probably still do that. I think I probably still say, yeah, everything's fine, doing great, just great. Um, and some days, it, and I'm, I'm not, um, I might be feeling some pain or, or just not feeling myself, and I'm still saying, I'm fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. So um, there's a song, a Christian song, and I'm going to put all of this in my um, my notes on my blog and also in the notes and comments on the YouTube channel so that you'll have um, access to be able to go and listen to these songs because I don't want you to have to look them up. But Matthew... Um, West has a song, and it's it's truth be told, and um, I love that song, and it, it, you know it's it's a great it's a great song because if um, you listen to it, it will tell you about um, you know lie number one. You're supposed to have it all together. Who says you have to have it all together? 
you know, in, don't we have that pressure in our lives with we think that, you know, we're supposed to have it all together? Um, we don't have to. That's not something we we have to have everything all together. It's okay. We can make some mistakes. We can have some um, some days that we don't have it all together. And that's what building trusting relationships and support systems and those things are for, is to be able to have that, um, to be able to say, hey, I don't have it all together today. Can you help me out? And so then it goes on and it says, lie number two, everyone's life is perfect except for yours. Now, this is where I think it goes into um, our social media, <laughs> where we go out and we compare ourselves to everybody else. And we think everybody's got it together and everybody's life is perfect because they've put all these pictures on and it looks like they're just, you know, picture perfect. And that can be deceiving because it, it, it may not be. Because who's going to put on their social media something that's not okay and perfect? Who's going to put a, a crappy picture about the, of themselves or their family? Um, we're just not going to do that. So um, it's not that we're trying to hide things, but... Who's going to do that? Now, I'm just going to tell you, uh, I don't get dressed up when I do these. I don't practice these. Um, it's something that it, it's it's called to me. And it weighs heavy on my heart. And so then I decide I've got I've got to I've got to talk. I need to talk to you and tell you what's what's happening and what I'm feeling. And so that if you're feeling the same way that, you know, it's OK. You can feel this way. Even the best of us who are out there saying the positive things, giving you positive words of, of encouragement and inspiration, we have our days where we think, oh, I don't have it all together. And I have days where I think, you know, everybody's life seems to be so much better and it's perfect and and I, I don't I can't I can't do it. I've I published this book and I should be out there doing this and that and and I'm not, and guess what? It's okay, because I published my book just to get my message out there, because that's what I was supposed to do. Nothing more, nothing less, just to publish my book and to share it as best I could. I don't have to do anything more or anything less, and um, that's what I'm doing today. Now, as... Um, as I think about that song, I think about some other songs that really help me. I, I don't know what helps you when you're feeling, um, I don't know if depressed is the word or unsure or just having, um, a time where you're trying to figure out, you know, what's the next thing I should do? What are the things that, um, I should accomplish? So, my one word for the year, and I always, um, I coach and mentor people, and I've been doing that for decades, it seems, and um, I've always told them to pick one word um, and really focus on that one word. And that's because that will keep you centered. That will keep you um, really focused on what you want to accomplish. So when you pick that one word, then I ask them to pick only three goals because I like simplicity, obviously, two rules, um, because if you have that simplicity and you have a simple process of what you do, you will accomplish what you set out to do. And so my one word for this year is completion. And I picked that word because I wanted to get things completed. I had been shuffling around papers and, and things. Um, I actually have written two books. Well, now three. Um, and we, my first book was about school improvement. Well, we didn't need one more school improvement book. So we put that to the wayside. Um, and so then we've, we came up with the lead with two rules. 
um, because that's really what my philosophy is. And so we had all these notes and things, and we finally got them all put together. And, you know, and I have written some other things that are lessons that go with it that we'll put out a little bit later. I have um, a journal that I wanted to get out for kids and um, some things for parents that how to um, talk with kids and what things to say and you know, and I just contributed to a book, um, a chapter that will be coming out, and I'll talk more about that later, um, which was a very um, good thing for me to do. I needed to step out and do something different, and it's still it's still about the same thing. It's still about my story, and um, I I enjoyed work. I I'm enjoying working with these twenty women that are working on this anthology together. It's it's great, and I really appreciate um, having the opportunity to do that with them. But my other song that I love is called Strong by Annie Wilson. And, you know, it, it takes you to the point where you're thinking about, you know, what what's, what's the thing that makes you strong, that helps you to get up, helps you to face the day, that helps you to um, get through a difficult time. And there's a verse that's in um, that she that she has in the song. Try to make them all think I'm strong. The face I keep putting on says I ain't tired. No one told me life could be so hard. A weary soul with a worn out heart, barely beating. And um, we can get that way. We can get to the point where we're we're feeling like we, you know, can't do another, another day. We can't get through this, this situation, this, this, this storm that we're going through, but we can because we are strong. And my faith provides that strength to me. And, um, it has always been there for me. I just didn't know um, how strong it was until some of the really hard things that have happened in my life really made me realize how strong it is. Um, I encourage you to listen to the lyrics and the videos that I will share with you will have the lyrics. Just just listen to the words. They speak volumes to you, to you um, when you read them and um, hear them. And they're beautifully done by these, these artists. Um, but it, 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 I can't do this life on my own. And I think that once we realize we can't do life on our own, then we'll realize that we do need God in our lives for that strength to help us but we need more than just God. Like I said, those support systems are so, so important. So important. One of the last songs that um, actually my best friend, Jeanette, actually sent it to me a while back. And, and she's right. The song does speak to you. And it's um, by Megan Woods, The Truth. And I don't know about you, but the world is full of noise. And I let that noise just fill up my head sometimes. And, you know, I, I have a lot of self-doubt sometimes. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I do. And um, one of the things that I... I guess there's more than one thing that I want you to remember comes from this song. How many times can you hear the same lie before you believe it? Think about that. How many times can you hear the same lie before you believe it? I don't belong to the lies. I belong to you. That's the truth. I belong to God. I'm a child of God. When I feel like there is so much noise living, living rent-free in my head, 
Heaven finds me in a still, small voice, and it sounds like grace instead. That's what I want you to find. The small voice inside your head and find that truth because it's there. And I want you to know that truth be told, we don't all have it all together. We are strong and we can face these storms together and we can make it. And the truth is you matter. You really do. Don't let anybody tell you you don't because you do. You were created for a purpose and for a reason. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry. Purpose will find you. It will. Trust me. It will. If you don't know what it is, you'll find it. It'll come to you. It'll let you know because you matter. So I will see, see you the next time on a solution Saturday or just at a time when we need to just have a talk. Thank you.